Okay, I'm back again. I put Tester's Decal Bonder on this sheet of Aztec decals. I put the pearl on the top saucer and the top of the neck. I mean top of the nacelle struts. I put Tester's Decal Bonder spray on the rest of the Aztec decals. And I've been using a combination of decals from the model kit, decals from Federation models, to complete my kit, or to start the strong back end modeling. Now I put this first uh, Aztec decal on from the Aztec kit. Oh, it was so thin it almost folded on itself, so it needed um, decal bonder spray. And I tried the one piece of this from Federation Models. They broke up into multiple chunks. Well, no, no, it didn't break up. The windows were too big. Someone had miscalculated the alignment, so I'm using the ones from the kit that have everything in four pieces. But I am going to use the Aztec decals for the shuttle bay trim at the front because it comes in two separate pieces. I don't want to risk anything. But anyway, that's uh, that's about all I've got done for today for the Excelsior kit. Everything is pearled. Oh, you saw how the top of the bridge was masked off in the sections that I wanted to protect. And uh, that's about all today. So tomorrow... Oh, oh yes, and I also put these decals, little shuttle bay decals from the Federation models on the torpedo bay. The rear torpedo launchers. So tomorrow I will continue work on the Excelsior. I'll officially be in the uh, decal stage. And I can finally unmask those things when they're completely dry because they got the pearl too. But I left the shuttle bay mast and I left the inner cargo bay mast and the deflector dish. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow and have a good evening. Alright, thank you for waiting. I'm back again. I uh, put on the first Aztec decal. Well, it's a strong back from the from the uh, kit. But I realized something that I'm probably going to have to do before I um, put on any more. Because they, they're, they're very thin. Much thinner than, say, the Three Ship Enterprise ones were. I think I'm going to uh, apply Tester's Decal Bonder to the uh, Aztec decal sheets. I think I'm going to have to. Because it started to fold under itself and it was a... Ooh, no. No, I'm going to do that before I do anything else. So I'll be spraying the pearl on this tonight, right about now. Masking off the shuttle bay and spraying the pearl on that. And then I will put on the... Tester's decal bonder spray on the Aztec decal sheets. So I'll be back when I've done that. Talk to you later. Alright, thank you for waiting. I am back again. I couldn't wait. I admit I got impatient. So I unmasked the silver shuttle bay just to make sure it was good. And it is. Of course, I'm going to mask it again because I'm going to pearl the... No, I'm going to wait till tomorrow for those. I am. But I also looked at the nacelles. Now, the good thing is, the blue paint held. Blue paint did not come off. If anything, the gray I used, I think it was haze gray or something. No, royal light gray. But, take a look at this. You see this folk art steel gray? There's the haze gray, there's the rural light gray sprayed on. So touch-ups are now confirmed to be possible with that paint. All you have to do is make sure the brush stays within that groove all the way along and it'll touch everything up. So once that is done, I will be back with that and then I am going to pearl the rest of the hull. I'll be back. And I'm back again. So this is after the touch-up with the folk art... Uh, Steel gray. It's 
So the blue thankfully remained intact. Didn't get wrecked. Hey, the blue is shiny enough it's even reflecting that printing I did there. Oh, I see a spot I missed. Stand by. All right, I'm back. So there you go. Gray is all touched up alongside the blue. Looks like it should in the manual from above. That's perfect. And we'll see what it looks like if you turn it around. That looks good too. Excellent. There's the other one. All adjusted. It looks good from on top as well. Turn it around. There you go. Now I'm going to test fit them on top of the grills. Stand by. All right, I'm back. So there they are, test fit on top of the grills. It looked to me like that part centered in there, and then you put the tail fin on top. Tail fins are being purled right now, so I can't really test them. Don't want to get them fingerprinted. But that looks pretty good to me. Let's see if it fits on top of the actual... Well, you can't fit them on the nacelles either. They're being um, grilled. So, just wait now. Just wait. And I'm going to go purl the... Um, I'm not going to purl anything until after supper. But I'll, I'll, I'll purl after supper, the other parts. So that'll be about all for now. There's nothing else I really have to do. It's basically just waiting now. So I'll, uh, I'll be back when I've purled the other parts, which will include the bottom saucer, bottom star drive, the shuttle bay, and the top saucer. So I'll make another video when I've done that, and that'll be the final video of the day. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.